Number 12, Kanwal Singh Bakshi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And my question is to the Minister of Internal Affairs and asked, what recent announcements has he made about reducing unnecessary red tape under the Gambling Act 2003? Honourable Chris Tremaine. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This week, I announced that the government is considering changes to regulations around spot prize draws. I've released a consultation document which includes a proposal that spot prize draws at these events should not be classified as gambling. This would mean event organisers do not need to apply for a licence to run spot prizes and can focus on their events rather than red tape. Sup order. Supplementary question, Kanwaljit Singh Bakshi. Supplementary to the Minister. Why are the changes to the current regulation necessary? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Chris Tremaine. Uh, changes have been called for by event organisers such as fishing competitions and sports events. Problem gambling organisations report that there is little risk of problem gambling, if any, associated with spot prizes at these events. So I don't believe that rigorous rules are necessary. Event organisers shouldn't have to worry about complying with the Gambling Act when considering spot prizes. They should be able to get on with providing fun activities for families and for their communities. That concludes questions for oral answer. Point of order, Jamie Lee Ross. Uh, I seek leave for the votes of Honourable John Banks and Honourable Peter Dunn against the amendment in the name of Right Honourable Winston Peters on the second reading of the marriage definition of marriage amendment bill to be recorded in the journals of the House of Representatives. Is there any objection to that course of action? There is none. The result will be recorded as ayes 33, noes 85. I call on government order of the day number one.